Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, well in this uh, series of videos that we are talking about improving Windows since we have big changes coming up this year. Of course we'll look at several things that need to be changed, improved and uh, made better. And one of them is uh, dark mode. I think that also needs to be improved. There is, of course, and there was an introduction to what is dark mode in Windows at some times, at some point. And uh, one of the things that happened with it is that you suddenly realize that when you want to use dark mode, uh, dark mode isn't everywhere. So, of course, there are options to have your apps in dark mode and your uh, settings and your windows in dark mode and you can choose what's dark what's not but there's a problem here is that it um, you know on uh, Apple Mac computers when they did dark mode it was something that would just flick on or off anywhere you are any app you're using dark mode was there in Windows it's different dark mode is dependent on if an app has dark mode available or not which means some apps were in dark mode, some apps were not. Uh, we are talking about, you know, the uh, File Explorer that is its own override button. Now, for apps to have an override button is fine. There could be apps where you don't want them to follow the general dark or light mode when you actually are using your computer. Where I have more of a problem is the fact that depending on the app you choose, depending on where you go, dark mode isn't officially used everywhere including in the apps like you know using your own browser uh, why you know Microsoft Edge isn't going in dark mode also why isn't all that following the general settings of Windows so I think dark mode I think that's not something that they need to continue to work on. Uh, one of the biggest problems at Microsoft is you start working on something. It's fine. It's great. It gets there and you're like, oh, cool. This is new. But they kind of abandon in the middle and they're like, well, okay, well, I think we've done enough for now. Um, you know, let's hope that the 21H2 build will actually be more complete where they will go uh, all the way into a certain setting or a certain change. Because uh, that would be very, very nice. It would be cool to have uh, everything follow dark mode or not uh, in your computer. So let's hope for a improvement and more changes coming to dark mode. Uh, and of course, depending on if you use the light theme or the dark mode uh, theme, well, at least you'll have some changes that follow with it. And like I said, uh, keep each app and each possibility of software to have their own default off switch so that if you're on, you know, if you switch dark mode everywhere and you suddenly re find that, for example, in the web browser, it's not cool to have dark mode enabled all the time. Well, you could override it in the app itself. But at least make sure that everything that you use can actually switch to the dark mode. Because right now it's like we add dark mode here and there and, um, you know, we'll get to dark mode in something else eventually. Um, I think it could be easier than that and, and it could have a general uh, on-off switch for dark mode and, and have each app override it if you wish to override it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.